What if I told you that the reason traders lose money in the market is not because of their emotions, but because of the entire way they think about trading strategies? You see, most traders come into the market thinking that they have to come up with some sort of grand idea if they want to make a dollar, that they need to be able to see something that the market can't see if they want to turn a profit. What if I told you that this can't be further from the truth and that if you want to make money as a trader, all you need to do is think about your trading as if it was a business. What does a business do? Well, a business provides some sort of service or value in exchange for money or compensation. Just like any other business, we as traders get paid for providing value to the market. Let me give you an example. Imagine a pension fund holds a bunch of Apple stock and Apple has an earnings event coming up. Now, if Apple were to drop 10% on earnings, that would be devastating to the shareholders in this pension fund. So what does the pension fund do? They go out and they buy puts on Apple as a way to hedge their position and limit their downside risk. Now, because what they're interested in is this downside protection, they need the puts. Do they really care if the put is $5 or $6? Probably not, because their main objective is to get that insurance. Now, what that does is it creates opportunity for us as traders to come into the market and say, well, what are these puts really worth? Is this a fair price for the put given the risk that the person who sells the put would be taking on on behalf of this pension fund? If we think that the put is expensive, well, that would give us the opportunity to come in there, provide that liquidity, sell that put to the pension fund, and over the long run, earn a premium for providing that insurance. And that is just one of many examples of the ways traders can get compensated not for having some all-seeing eye and really having to be some one in a million trader, but for providing value into a marketplace where there's demand for something and people willing to overpay for a particular asset. Now, that's an example of running a business, but what makes a business a great business? A great business has what we call a competitive advantage, a reason that they should be earning money relative to their competitors. In the trading space, this is what we call having an edge. When we have an edge, it means that we thoroughly understand why we should be getting paid for taking certain actions in the marketplace. We know what's putting money in our pockets. Having an edge means we are no longer relying on luck to turn a profit because we have what's called positive expected value, a concept covered in the early part of the PA Academy. It's this positive expected value and having an edge that allows us to grow our wealth and sleep better at night, regardless of the outcome of any individual trade. An edge is usually found by taking on risks that other people try to avoid, because it's these risks that are usually overpriced and have inflated option premiums around them. It's the spots where people are hesitant to provide liquidity that we can get the most compensation for stepping in and being the one to do it. Now to have an edge, we need two things. First is that we need to have a very strong understanding of the product we are trading. This means knowing how options work and how to structure trades that allow us to express different views and capture different inefficiencies in the market. The second thing we need is a tool set that allows us to use data to find these mispricings, where the premium is the most overpriced or expensive, so that we can go out there pick out those trades and run our strategy around them. When looking at markets, we should be asking ourselves questions like, where are other people willing to give up money? Is there some sort of inefficiency that we can exploit? Is there a logical reason why this inefficiency might exist? And is there a way we can make money by helping to resolve it? These are the questions that lead to finding profitable trading strategies. And as a member of Predicting Alpha, you are going to learn about many of these strategies and have the tools to execute on them in a clinical way. You see, trading actually is quite easy once you're able to find a $5 bill that's trading for $3. The hard part is actually knowing what something is worth. And in this quick start course, you are going to learn everything you need to know to start building your business in the trading space. You're going to learn the key things you need to understand about options and volatility, the tools that we're gonna to use to actually express views on the market, straddles and calendars. And then we're going to go over three different strategies 
that are data-driven and evidence-backed that you have access to directly through the terminal. We've actually built dashboards for each one. You're going to learn all three of them and be able to pick the ones that you wanna start implementing today. Each of them have that positive expected value. And by running those strategies systematically in your book, you're going to be able to build a true business for yourself in the space where you can sleep better at night and actually forecast into the future how much money you should make taking certain actions in the market. It's these types of things that will take you out of the game of gambling, out of the trader's rat race, and into the space of building something sustainable for yourself. And this is why predicting alpha is so much more than just data. It's an entire trading philosophy. As you go through our videos, interact with the community, and look for trades yourself, always think from the perspective of building your business, looking for a sustainable way to grow your portfolio, and always ask yourself, how can I use what I've learned today and the tools that I have access to in order to gain a competitive advantage or find my edge? Now, as you go through this quick start guide, remember, I'm always there to help you. You can email me, reach out to me directly in the community, and I cannot wait to see where this trading journey takes you. Talk to you soon.